Jesus wants to move us from lies of political correction and draw us to the truth of his resurrection. He's tired of secret government inspection and every slick rigged election and media pundits who spew verbal deflection where Jesus is calling us to our real direction, community based on real connection and sharing that flows from real affection turning us away from our growing infection with the virus of striving for perfection. He's calling us to freedom in the face of rejection, believing he's our hope, our power, and our protection. Oh Lord, have mercy for everything that can be shaken, will be shaken. Thank you, Jesus, I'm not forsaken. I was condemned to die, but you said that job's taken. I'm in your every agony suffering and aching. You think I'm absent, you are mistaken. No matter what the price, my love's not breaking, cause a new tomorrow is about to waken. It's coming with a joy that makes you shout, my soul is quaking. Jesus wants us to stop being spun up on TV news hypes and to wrap ourselves in his healing stripes. He wants us to move from words on smartphones to the eternal word who speaks peace and atones. Jesus wants us to feed on him, not on our culture, and discern the holy dove from a media vulture. He wants us to move from the image that entertains and run to his cross that snaps worldly chains. For every form of bondage and addiction dies on the nails of crucifixion. For crucifixion's a killing machine, the blood of Christ washing every attic clean. For Christ, there are no addicts always recovering, but only former addicts healed by Christ loving. Oh Lord, have mercy. Whatever can be shaken will be shaken. Thank you, Jesus, I'm not forsaken. I was condemned to die, but you said that job's taken. I'm in your every agony, suffering and aching. You think I'm absent, you are mistaken. No matter what the price, my love's not breaking. Cause a new tomorrow is about to waken. It's coming with a joy that makes you shout, my soul is quaking. Jesus is not trying to detain you or brain you or constrain you or drain you or even maintain you. His heart's desire is to regain you and retrieve you from sin, reprieve you from sin, relieve you from sin, so you can perceive his love, believe his love, receive his love, and cleave to his love. And he's tired of age, taking a stage, making numbers of years live, feel like a cage, a cage that tells me I'm too old to rap, that there's too big a gap between my 70 years and those younger and older and that age is a trap I'm caught in. And I'd be better served by taking a nap, that my words are merely pap, that I'm a fool and a sap, and that my mind's about to snap. But I'm here to tell you that age has no map, that when our lives overlap, I hear Jesus clap over our common humanity, clap over the defeat of our vanity, clap over the blocking of our profanity, clap over the nailing of our insanity. Clap over our living Christianity. For Jesus is not here to tease you, or to please you, or appease you. But he's here to release you from your self-preservation into the Holy Spirit's regeneration. Now Satan knows how to decoy us, and how to deploy us how to toy with us and his goal is to destroy us but Satan can't take Christ's joy from us for Jesus is a new dawn always rising he's merciful never despising free never paralyzing revolutionizing you surprising you harmonizing you energizing you and authorizing you to be real to feel to heal and to reveal the new you, to see through you, the daring do you, the impromptu you, and the true blue you. Jesus is the man of daily sorrows and the God of promised tomorrows. He always gives, he never borrows. 
He's the grace that saves, the peace who comes in gentle waves, the joy who surges in dancing raves, and the love that triumphs over all graves. Jesus is the present mystery who makes whole your broken history. Jesus rocks, he never mocks, his cross opens all locks, he wipes away every pox, he defies every category and box, his blood is our eternal detox. He's the paradox who shocks the orthodox and breaks through all the enemy's roadblocks. Oh Lord, have mercy for everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Thank you, Jesus, I'm not forsaken. I was condemned to die, but you said that job's taken. I'm in your every agony, suffering, and aching. You think I'm absent, you are mistaken. No matter what the price, my love's not breaking. Cause a new tomorrow is about to waken. It's coming with a joy that makes you shout, my soul is quaking. Joy is a song and dance that moves in every circumstance. Glides with elegance, steps with purpose, never chance. Desire's continuous expanse overflows with extravagance, quickens to the melody of Christ's romance, strides with radiance and resonance, rides on the song of deliverance, leaps in freedom with no need for vigilance and no need to alter its stance. Dancing joy never casts a single glance at whether it has relevance. For when you are dancing with the bridegroom, who is your life spring, your mainspring, and your wellspring, then you are in full swing. And you are on the wing, wearing his wedding ring, feeling his reveling, knowing his shepherding. There's no space for gloom, no space for doom. There's only the space of an empty tomb, now converted into a ballroom for you to dance with joy with the risen Jesus who moves in grooves and all of heaven approves. Now everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And this is the midnight hour for those not faking, for those in fear, for those too grieved to cheer, for those whose thoughts don't cohere, for those whose heartache feels endless and severe, for those too ashamed to hear, those who are blocked up, locked up, shut up, and cut up. For all of you, I'm here to tell you that Jesus right now broke you out of jail. That under his blood you don't need bail. That his redeeming love is not for sale. Because the gift of his blood has no scale. He set you free. No jail can assail you, or derail you, or curtail you, or even bewail you. Because on the cross he was jailed for you, impaled for you, nailed for you, flailed for you, and wailed for you. And yet to his glory, that's not the end of the story. For he prevailed for you. His cross shaken every jail that can be shaken, shaken at the foundation. Turning the death sentence of sin into living and reborn skin. Where the needle of heroin is no longer your safety pin where you're no longer a has-been, chugging gin, number than a mannequin, with no sense of discipline, caught in a tailspin. But you're where Jesus restored your origin, where there's no masculine, feminine, but only Christ's blood kin, brothers and sisters who are all in. So wherever the shaking and quaking of his love are taking you, whatever your station in life, and destination in life. Wherever and however the Holy Spirit is setting you free, at this moment, at this midnight hour, with the power of a new dawn breaking through, I say to you, leap, leap, leap into the arms of the joy-willing, joy-filling, joy-thrilling, dancing joy of Jesus. Amen and amen.